Hello everybody, welcome to another Binance tutorial where I'm going to explain what trailing stop order is and then I'm going to show you how to set it on the Binance platform. A trailing stop order is a type of order that is available on Binance futures where the stop order follows the price of a particular crypto that you set it on at a specified percentage as long as the price is going in your favor and you are making profit. If things change and the price starts going against you in the opposite direction, the stop order stops and waits for the percentage that you set. If prices continue to go against you until the percentage reaches, it issues an order to close your trade at that point so that you don't make a loss. For example, let's say I bought Bitcoin at a price of 59500 and I'm in a long position on Binance Futures meaning that I'll keep making profits as long as the price of Bitcoin is rising. I can set a trailing stop order to say follow the price of Bitcoin as a percentage of 0.5. This percentage is called the callback rate. If I do this, what's going to happen is that the trailing stop order will keep monitoring the price of Bitcoin in my trade and if the price of Bitcoin rises to 60,000, 60,500 and above, the trade is going to stay open and I'm going to continue making profits. But if the price of Bitcoin starts to fall, and let's say the price started falling at around 60,500, the trailing stop order is going to stop moving and it will keep checking the current price of Bitcoin to see the percentage that the current price is away from 60,500 where it started falling from. So if the price falls up to 0.5% of 60,500, 0.5% of 60,500 is 302.5. And if I subtract 302.5 from 60,500, I'm going to get 60,197.5. So this means that if the price falls from 60,500 up to 60,197.5, the trailing stop order is going to sell my Bitcoin at that point. Remember, I bought my Bitcoin at 59,500. So at 60,197.5, where it sold my Bitcoin, I was still at a profit. That's the way it works. The last thing you need to know is something called activation price. This is the price that activates or makes the trailing stop order start working. If you're setting the activation price for a long position, you have to set it higher than what the current price is. And if you're setting the activation price for a short position, you have to set it lower than what the current price is. You also have the option of not setting anything in the activation price and it's going to default to either the last price or the mark price. What happens is that if the price does not get up to that price you set as the activation price, your trailing stop order is not going to get activated and it's not going to work. So to set trailing stop order on the Binance platform, go to your Binance futures trading interface and click on the arrow beside stop limit. Select trailing stop. Enter the callback rate, I can say for example 0.5%, I'll leave the activation price blank and I'll let it default to the last price or the mark price because if I put a price here and the current price never rises up to the price, then my trailing stop order is not going to be activated and it's not going to work which would defeat the entire purpose. I'll enter the amount of Bitcoin I want to start my trade with and I'll click buy or long to open the position. So that's how you set a trailing stop order on Binance. If you found this video useful, then hit the like button below and subscribe to this channel to see more videos like this one. I also have a crypto trading course for beginners. The link to the course will be in the description box below if you want to check it out. God bless your hustle.